Hello sweeties, Nana Tazzy here. And today we're going to play a new Band in Places book because the Darling Care Heart, um, I will link her channel below. Uh, some of you all know her as Carolyn. I call her Care Bear because she's, she's my Care Bear. <laughs> she has sent me, and look at this. I tell you what, Amazon does not mess around with their gift wrap. This bag is amazing. But she has sent me, because she's enjoying the journey of the abandoned books that I'm on. And I'm totally saving that. That is adorable. But it's got little, cute little note in there. Thank you, Carolyn, darling. I love you very much. Very, very much. Um, yeah, I'm so excited I get to play in my book. <laughs> I was quite missing it, actually. But she has sent me some matte medium. Hello! So guess what? The game is afoot, loves. Save that as well, because we use everything. Everything. Okay, I also got... Um, I've been going through... Uh, what magazine is that? I think it's one of the L magazines. Um, and just cutting up, tearing up, pulling everything out. And yesterday I got this in the mail. Um, they call it the Gardener's Idea Book. The proven winners people are, are ones that you'll find their, their plants and stuff at, um, they look like this, the little pots, at, um, you know, the big box stores, the home improvement box stores and whatever. And yeah, their plants are pretty good. But their idea book, we'll flip through here. Hopefully you, well, it's a huge, it's a little book this way, but it's really long. Um, but all of these, and, and they put together these these little, you know, patio scenes so you can see how you could use them in, in different settings, which is adorable. I love to cut these up and use them in, you know, random other places. And what better, I think, I have <laughs> I have several plans. Look at that. Aww. But they've got the big flowers you can cut up individually. They've got little statues and, and waterfalls and bird feeders and, I don't know, just randomness. The only issue is, as with any other catalog or magazine, there is inevitably an image you'll want to use on one side and when you look, flip over the page to see what the other side looks like there'll be something just as awesome. It's like dang it, so you, you really have to choose. Look, little uh, sandwich trays and teapots and teacups and this kind of thing. You can use that stuff anywhere and we're going to. Yes. Yes. But there's all different size images. Um, you know, so you get big ones and little ones and like this stuff. So yes, I do have plans for these. Just add color. Mm-hmm. Yes. I like the flower boxes and stuff. I love using these, even the windows, because you can put other stuff in the windows. But cutting all that out as one piece these go a long way, these books. A long way. So um, definitely pop over to um, what's there, uh, dot com? Yeah, provenwinners.com and request, request one of these. One, they're just absolutely lovely to look at. Look at this. Oh, I would love to be able to do this, but um, yeah, where we're at, that would be so much drip line for watering, it's ridiculous. It's gorgeous though. Be it flowers, look, they're big. They're not so big you can't use them, but they're big enough that, you know, they'll make a statement. Oh, I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, we're gonna use some of these in our abandoned book. Oh, yes, roses. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. 
so I will keep that on hand. Oh, also I'm going to try something different today and set a timer for about 45 minutes. Let's see. Yep. Because what, what I'm noticing, the longer I spend under these daylight lamps, the worse my head hurts, the worse I feel. Um, obviously you can't actually recreate daylight. Um, they do pretty good, it's just pretty bright, but um, yeah, artificial light is just not good for humans, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so what do we have here? I've got all sorts of stuff. Just, just crazy, crazy, craziness. Flowers, clocks, um, jewelry and bracelets and such. You never know what those are good for. Um, this is a purse of some variety. I've cut it down. Uh, watches, clock faces. That was a print off of a dress or some such. There's more of that in here somewhere. Um, that was an ad for something or other. I don't know. Um, so yeah, we've got more of these, and this was all, how was it, I don't remember, it, it was something, it was a huge page of, of just watch and bracelet parts that I want to use somewhere, okay, you'll, you'll see those as we go through, but even stuff that's just weird background, tear it up. You don't have to use the, the whole thing, but tear it up so your brain sees it differently. And then we could use that as anything. See, like that, it looks like a sunflower pot to me. Could be from a fire, could be, could be whatever. Whatever. But it's all good. See, there's, there's the rest of that page. And it was just random, just random background. All on its own, you know? So yeah, we can we can use these shapes. I'll show you. It'll be fabulous. Okay, I've got some scissors. Hopefully, I won't lose those. I've got a glue stick, just to tack things down. That's my first first goal today is to just get things down, and then we'll come back and start really adding them and prepping those pages, and we'll go from there. Um, the response to the real-time chat stuff has been huge, so I'm uh, I'm really going to try and do more of those. I know they're longer videos, and I'll do my best to chunk them down into parts or something. Or they'll be, you know, just to be continued. Okay, take a moment to love the book. I am kind of worried, and... I'll have to ask Dee Dee. The, the spine's starting to feel funky. I don't know if it's because I keep it open so often. That might be it. Um, but I don't know if she's had to um, reinforce any of her spines. Um, I'm seriously considering doing that before there's an issue, but I'm, I'm not sure yet. But there's starting to be some some wear and I've got to start really paying attention to where in the book I'm, I'm working because we're starting to get a little bit of a wobble. Can you see the, the inner spine there? Starting to curl a little bit. Not terribly, but a little bit. So I need to really pay attention to that. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yes. Okay, where are we at here? Because my camera's being a toad. Well, the camera's fine. It's um, the way it hangs. No, probably here. Okay, I'll try and try and remember to lean. Okay, I don't know. Oh. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'll have to harvest images specifically for that one. This, I still have no idea where this is going or what half of this is. It needs cleaning up for sure, but I zoned out so badly when I sat back and looked at it. It's like I couldn't even remember doing it. It's so weird. Oh, yeah, I was working on this one last night. 
Okay. I don't know why. I was ready to put the book away because um, I was just looking through stuff. I knew I had this this pile of, of images to play with. Is that too glary for you guys? Probably, huh? What if I do it on this angle here? Possibly. No, that'll still be. All right, hang on. Let's um. No. Oh, I don't know what to prop that up with. That I'm not going to need in a. Maybe that. Maybe my pencil case here. Hang on. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Is that too tall though? I think it's just going to be glary till we get some matte medium on this page. Okay, but what I've got is a chunk of floral edge and it's not all trimmed up beautiful. I don't really care. There's words on it. Don't really care. But this is all like jewelry and stuff. Like huge up close shots of it. And this is where it, it come off the page naturally. So I was starting to just uh, play with where to set it. Okay, yeah, that's not going to work because all my images are going to slide off. So something less tall perhaps. Oh, that's right. I was using my... Um... Oh, come here. Come here, come here. Ow. Ow. I don't know. I don't know if you can see... Oh, let me do it this way. I got a new hat. Um, I like to donate where I can, especially if I can, you know, be a walking billboard for uh, the Susan G. Coleman Foundation for Cancer Research and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I got a new hat. I was brave and I'm trying to break it in and get the, the bill bent just so, like I like it. Um, yeah, so if you see that, don't panic. I've got my other one on standby. But I need to break in a new hat because it'll take a while to get it all grungy and comfortable. I'm not saying this one's not comfortable, but you know when you, you get a hat just so, it's like a pair of jeans, just so, or a pair of sneakers. Okay, I've got this. I, I took this giant watch image, right? and very carefully cut out the center of it because now we've got other pieces to use. And let's do it under this beam. I thought about cutting out the orange, but a lot of this has the orangey red, grungy, not quite bronzy feeling, all that rust, right? Um, and yeah, I was just playing because the, the image already has lots of pipes. See, this is, like a huge funnel looking deal. Um, maybe under there. Oh yeah, I like that. There's lots of massive pipe and duct work. This I want to keep mostly visible because it's already got holes in it and I want to do stuff pouring out of there. I'm not sure what stuff yet. See, part of this, as I'm, I'm laying it out here, I'm thinking I'm going to need to do some background work um, before I stick these down so I can get in all little places without having to fight getting like making it look all swoopy and natural in between little places you know there's something about just doing one big thing that's that's easier than coming in and breaking it up I think mm-hmm yeah, I think I'm going to have to do play in it some and then stick things down some. This, this is speaking to me. I just don't know what it's saying yet. If we lined that up, there's a cable hanging here. So we could line that up somewhere. 
with our watch hands and we already have cables this way so we could possibly do that too oh it's not quite right okay if we found the right watch with the hand set at the right time that stuff like that um, keep that in mind and yeah, even tiny little um, pipes or cords or um, just just little bits yeah, that's still all glary oh glossy paper daylight lamps and overcast outside is not a good combination I think Oh, and you may notice I've <laughs> I've switched my um my fancy beautifuls from Safia to this hand because this one I dunk in paint far more often. So um, I went with stuff that's you know it doesn't matter if it gets banged up or, or painty. So that's the reason for that. And these yeah, the sound of them just make me happy. They're not so loud that they hurt my head. See, I almost want to use, when I saw this, when I saw this image, this was the page that, that jumped in my head. So I'm torn between the, the silver. Oh wow, I just had you two silver and gold jump into my head. That's funny. And yeah, because we can cut these down into individual pieces like bricks, or we can use, you know, chunks of it as walls or brickwork or whatever. We have stairs and see those almost look like a catwalk bridge thing already. I don't know if we want to accentuate that or not. We could. I like this pipe though. Yeah, it's been a matter of just grabbing pieces and seeing, seeing them after having the silver on here now. It's like, well, no. I'm noticing more and more that I like to replace like beams or poles with trees or, you know, just something random other. This one we could cut out and put there. make it three wide, cut it down. Dang it. Okay, this this page is at the moment gonna take way too long just messing around because it's not it's not quite there. So we will save these images for this page. Whether we use them or not doesn't matter. Alright. Okay. Now I tried to set some pages in where we may use them. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. I found more of those. These are going to be my jellyfish, which I need to start painting in and whatnot, and then um, I'll work out where the, the little ones go. But this is actually the, um, the top of a little grass umbrella it was over uh, near a beach over a little patio setting so it's a little grass umbrella but I cut it out and I'm thinking about rounding off the top a little and that'll be a jellyfish as well remember this one was a ballerina feather skirt thing so yeah this one's an umbrella this one's coral that one's coral you can use whatever you want to. Heck, you can have just random background shape or background and cut whatever shape you want. Ooh, this is one I want to add flowers to. This one, I'm working on a whole separate project for this because of the dude in the background there. This one, and I was hoping that the this book would have, normally they have a bunch of the hanging flowers in a spread. Hmm. I don't recall seeing, normally they have a, a section for hanging stuff. God, 
Isn't that gorgeous with the outdoor uh, fireplace patio thing? Mmm, yes. Yes. Even making that stuff yourself, it's still a little bit pricey. That's okay. We'll get there someday. Someday. Yeah, see, they've got them in background pictures, but I was well, no, actually, that might be the right size. If I hang, oh. Of course, I could cut out any, any of the smaller ones for background. All right, let's see, hang on. Hang on. So, or we could just use them as potted plants and stick them along too, huh? because it's closest to us so it would look bigger and then that one would be on that side if we did it there we could do something like that and then incorporate the other matching colors throughout we could do it like they were that possibly possibly Oh, that'll look weird there. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have to spend time just cutting things out some more, I guess. I didn't want to do that on camera because it takes me forever on account of my hands don't always work. Okay, so that's definitely gonna have floral everywhere, right? Oh, shoot. Just had an idea. Okay, I gotta do something with with all that floral everywhere. Maybe water, water coming down from here. What if we make that part space? This whole wall. We'll black out the wall grunge this out and fade it a little bit oh I did get asked if you have to use black to to block out um, you know your borders and white spaces you can use whatever colors you want loves I just started with black because that made sense I've seen it done and yeah I haven't been that brave so I was cheating <laughs> but it's helped me get started and now I'm ready to start doing other colors and stuff see same again with your flowers and stuff that oh Let's see. And remember, you can cut any of these down. But yeah, little flower boxes and whatever we could stick up here or, or by the by the doors as, as they were showing them, you know. Hmm. Yeah, we could put um, cultivated herb garden and, and whatever in the middle of a desert. It doesn't have to make sense. That's the, the whole joy of this. Nothing has to make sense. See, like that, we could use those. Or maybe not there, maybe at the bottom of the stairs, or even here. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, I have too many ideas. Ooh. Hmm. I have an idea for this one as well, but I'm I've lost my little dude in a boat. I found a little guy I think it's a beer ad or something, I don't know. Come out of the sportsman's illustrated. I'm not sure how I got those for free, but um, they keep sending them to me. Oh. Yeah, 
these videos are going to take some time, for sure, for sure. At least till we really get them going here. Okay, this little dude in his boat, and I was going to cut that out somewhere and have him like sailing through all this insulation fluff. That made sense to me. Just, just in his boat. Just randomly. Possibly. I think I have a polar bear somewhere. Not in this set though. Um, I don't know if it's small enough to put in here though. That could work as well. Yeah, I don't know. <sighs> I thought I had a plan today and I was all excited and now everything's everywhere. It's like, no, not that one. Oh, that one's moved. I cannot recall the name of this flower, but it is, it's a giant something or other, but it's the biggest flower that grows in I want to say it's the Amazon. Oh, good lord, my brain today. One of the rainforests, but they are massive. The flower itself is bigger than my table, and I have a huge table. Whoa. Okay, good, good. <laughs> okay, what did I put on this one? Maybe that's where we need to be today. And again, a lot of the stuff I'm leaning towards is stuff I still need to work in background and paint before I can stick things down even. I was going to have this, I'm going to use this dress as like water, as you would a waterfall or something, but it's just pouring fabric with flowers out of the ceiling or whatnot. Um, okay, let me try and show you like this, and we can even, you know, use her back and part of her arm and paint those out, but fit those in somewhere, that's not enough. I wonder if we use that on the other, actually, hang on. That one I've been playing with. That little dude can can be rowing down here too, or up in the sand. I don't know. I don't know. And it's funny. I've spent hours trying to do this and, and whatever. I don't know. It's that see-through, see-through boot. Look at this image. Isn't that great? how and where I want to use it yet but I love it and we've got all of this disaster to, to clean up and work with what better way than to break it break it yeah well, so now I've got to figure out how I want to do that seeing it would work in here too although I really love the reflection in this one funny as I flip through this I could just imagine should DD Willingham watch this particular video she'll be yelling at me to stick all these bits down stick them down just commit stick them down <laughs> look it's a blue footed booby <laughs> I can't help it I love them they have blue feet how cool is that when my feet are blue it's a bad thing Okay, that was one that we did 
Maybe I need to finish that. I have I have thought on this some. Okay, we'll, we'll look into that today as well. At some point today. So I could put that giant boot like it's crushed all of this or something. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. That one I'm still working on. That one I still need to work on. Oh, what else do we need for this one? Okay, I've got to figure out how I want to incorporate that. I've got to do some kind of backgroundy stuff there. This will sit about on the horizon. I may just trim these these little bits off. We don't actually need it. Okay. Got to remember our dude's walking here. He's all oblivious because he's on his phone or some such. And there's our puppet master here that's like, yes, be on your phone, puppet. Yes. Not sure what else we want to do in the background here. Screw it, let's work on this one. I'll figure out the rest of these as we go. Told you, this is my year-long project, and I may have to move that because um, yeah, these take really, really, really long time. A really long time. All right, let me move those and gently set up on pages here. I am using um, the Reynolds Kitchen parchment paper, and it is amazing. love this image here. I have a thing about woven hair. Well, I like yarn as well. But um, a friend of mine in high school back home, uh, she was doing the hair. Um, it was more of a creative design thing, um, but she'd weave hair and whatever. And I used to have hair, really, really crazy long hair, but she'd weave my hair into a hat or just something. <laughs> something crazy but um yeah it still fascinates me to this day because I can't get my hair to do squat but you know other people can <laughs> see and again all of these so they look like ropes right yes I have plans I just have to figure out how to make them that's the whole goal of this book remember to Learn how to take the things you see in your head and make them real. Turn them into something. But in the process, I have to learn the skills how to do that. Okay, so then. So there's a storm blowing in here, but you're not going to see that. Okay, and I want to wanna start just tearing images. Oh, I don't know about that. All right, hang on. I'm not worried about the hard edge because he's going to be on the... Uh, on the horizon, as it were. All right, that should do it, I think. So it looks like there's a giant fence around. Oh, 
Okay. what I need to do stop screwing around I can spend so much time just looking at it and thinking on it um, and I don't believe that's actually helpful all right let's see what we got going here well that's what I was using for black I don't think it'll matter Ew. See, it's not terribly thick paint so um, I find it much easier to peel off when the paint is actually thicker. So you can let it build up in layers and layers and layers and just peel your paint off your coffee lids. I was so happy to see that Dee Dee Willingham uses coffee lids as well because I think they're the best palette for little stuff. Alrighty. Actually, I may have to, I've got a couple more. I may have to go get those. But what I want to do um, I should probably scrub those too. I haven't prepared at all today. I'm just winging it. Um, that's not the one I want. Or is it? No, no, it's not. This is the one I want. Yes, and I just want a little bit to start with put it down here where it's flat. Alright. Oh, baby white. Be sure to have baby white ready to go. Yes. Okay, how are we doing for time here? Because I feel like I'm screwing around. Good lord. Yeah, time just flies when you're, you're playing with this stuff. Okay, that there. I don't know what kind of blue I want. I don't want to use some... Um... What is that there? Mm. What is that? Caribbean. Caribbean. Calypso Sky. Well, it's got the word sky in it. Let's try that. Okay, there's a weird noise on my front porch. Okay, and this is not flat. I may have to, well, this one should be less shiny because it's already um, pre-treated. Let's try that. All right, what I'm gonna do is this. Oh, that's not very thick at all. Okay. This is base colors. I don't actually, um, should have done that closer together, I think. I just want to get some color down and then I want to, um, I can come back later with brushes or whatever and and, and do other other fun stuff to it. And remember half of this is gonna not even be seen anyway, so it doesn't matter. I don't have a color that's quite that. Everything's way too light, too turquoise, or much, much darker. find my short palette brush I think and I'm kind of just um, doing a, a gentle push and flick and lift it, it's a I don't know what you call it I, I don't know I don't know you guys that's the whole point I'm learning I don't know 
Even if I did know, I'd still say that I don't know because there's so much to learn, isn't there? Oh yeah, see, I layer those colors, so that's way better. Oh, let's, let's do that. Oh, too much, too much. videos will probably have music also in the background for you guys for when I just get quiet <sighs> yeah there we go look fluffy cloud shapes with a fingertip mm. Or something, I don't know. Smooshing. going for realistic sky I just want um, like weird like something weirds about to go down or is going down because you know once we get all the other images on here that will be most apparent I think going on here. Oh, oh, oh. Now, if I've timed this correctly, my timer should go off any time now, which will give this time to sit and dry while I take a break from these lights. Yes? That's the plan. Anywho, let's do some like, knock it around a little so it looks like it's traveling. a thick bit that was trying to dry on top. I think that's smooshed together a little too much, huh? A little too much smooshing. dry a little and then and then give her touch-ups right here we go oh, I don't know what I'm gonna put in between here like most of this will be knocked out that'll be fine leave it I suppose. I suppose I could. Okay. Get some of this off here. All right let me uh Ugh. man these baby wipes are cheap cheap. 
tear holes in them pretty easy. I will have to keep that in mind. Of course, this poor palette knife is so crusty anyway. Thankfully, though, they clean up crazy easy. If you don't have a palette knife, um, let's see, what else could you use? Plastic fork, maybe? You could use a plastic knife for that matter. And if you wanted the bend in it for sure, um, just very gently take a lighter to it a little bit and, and push it down after you, you get it hot plastic knife where you get it hot um, and you don't want to like burn it you, you just want to warm it up both sides back and forth back and forth and then press it down um, till you get the angle that you want you may have to do it a couple times but it will work it will be fine um, and you don't actually even need a, a palette knife. I use it because I have it and I love it. This actually I stole out of my cake decorating set quite some time ago. Because um, I don't do a lot of cake decorating anymore. My wrists refuse to do anything quite that um, intense. Okay, I'm going to leave the top. All right. Where are we at time-wise? Where are we? Yeah, I have three minutes left, so I'm just going to call it there while this is setting. I want to check where that's at, roughly. Yep. Make sure our, our clouds and smuts behind him are okay. And that one should be just fine as well. But we took out those words here. Um, and yeah, it doesn't have to look realistic, right? But we have multi-dimensional, multi-layer um, sky with uh, further storms building and whatnot in the background on the horizon back there. And I'm going to add to all that anyway. Yes, because I feel lightning. We need lightning and possibly a swirly something. Vortex. We're thinking vortex, remember? Okay, so when we come back, we'll stick those on and start working on the bottom corner while, while those dry. Yes. All right, I will see you guys shortly. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see. I have pre-opened my... Uh, matte medium and I've not used the Liquitex one before so I'm excited excited and I don't know if I want to squeeze out a little bit because I have a big fat paintbrush so I don't know if I want to be well let's just be brave shall we let's just be brave stick that up there Put it on the back of our image. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I picked up some paint. Okay, you need to go here for sure. I think. Oh, I did. I picked up paint. That's okay. We can black that out with some more paint later. Okay, I don't think I need to squish that down too terribly. It looks like it's um, looks like it's going to be pretty good as it is. That's nice, huh? Okay, this one actually I should trim that before I get going here. Cause it's got these three bigger bumps on the edge here. I'm just gonna just gonna give them a little trim. Yeah, it's not going to be, I may have to trim a little off the uh, corner, or off the edge here, I'm not sure. Okay, so what I want to do on this one for sure, I should do, right? Maybe, I don't know. I have no idea. Hmm. 
Man, that goes on nice. I like that. that a lot. Oh, hang, on. hang on, to move it down here. Sorry you can't see at the moment. Flowing, isn't it? Very, very free flowing. Alrighty. I do want a. Man, I'm a mess today. A mess, I tell you. Where is the other card? Gotta have a card somewhere. Surely I do. Oh, I might have. Might have done that a bit too thin. Alright, do it again. Seriously? Okay, sure. Alright, gonna have to learn to squeeze that out before I need it, I think. There we go. So I'm still learning how much of what I need and to use, you know, to get it to work the way I want it to. Because I don't know. Alright, let's do that. Oh yes, that's better. Do it directly on the brush. Oops. Okay, stick some of that there, there we go. There we go, works for me. Hmm, really? Why? Because you're a beginner, so it's not going to happen like perfect. Because <laughs> perfect doesn't exist, that's why. Okay, I have a an air bubble of considerable proportion right here, so I'm going to use a pen and poke it and squeeze my air out like so very gently. There we go. That'll work. Okay. Gonna give it a once over here as well. Make sure we get all those edges sealed. And this will help us later when we're painting on it and such. If we screw it up, we can wipe stuff off. Uh, which is really handy. <laughs> Especially if you change your mind, you look at something and it's like, no, that's not what I was going for at all. Man, that, that is nice. Hmm. Yes. Okay. That goes in its own glue bucket. Alright, I think I'm going to leave this particular chunk of video here. I mean, I'll, I'll do the next one today for sure. Um, the filming part of it, but starting to question my Monday, Wednesday, Friday uh, video posting um, schedule. Because depending on what other projects I'm doing and have going, those tend to work better for that, that schedule. But I don't know. We'll keep part one here and whenever part two comes up, um, I should be able to edit these all back to back and get them uploaded and scheduled. No, no, we'll keep it. We'll keep it. You're just gonna have to wait. <laughs> uh, you're gonna have to wait for the Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, I guess. And the occasional Saturday. Um, but yeah, I was watching. We uh, blah. Was watching Dee Dee Wellingham actually in the middle of, of one of her videos currently. Um, and she's talking about why she doesn't speed up her videos and I totally totally get it because she wants to show people how long it takes to do any of these projects and I totally get it because the reason I speed up my videos is 
even if it's still an hour, hour and a half, with the whole thing sped up, and a lot of mine I'll speed up to 500%, because a lot of those videos, or a lot of those projects, took me three to five days of working on just that. Um, so, well, I quite enjoy, I, I will sit and watch Dee Dee's uh, from the live streams that she puts up on from Ustream that she puts up on YouTube I'll sit and watch two three four hours of video I'm fine with that I can watch it in chunks if I need to or stick it on in the background and listen and, and watch while I'm doing other stuff but yeah these take time all the projects take time and a lot of the sped up ones that I've, I've got, because I worked on them in the evening when the mister was home, there's video games, he listens to YouTube or Netflix or whatever, he watches all of that. Um, you know, I have dogs barking, we have friends coming and going. Um, so not just noise restrictions, but um, you know, that starts bringing in a lot of uh, legal possible legal issues with um, copyrighted stuff even though it's in the other room um, and I know I've, I've seen a lot of videos where the, that kind of things going on um, even with the radio on you're not supposed to be doing karaoke or any of that stuff and there's hundreds hundreds of channels that have that kind of stuff going on but I don't know it just it wigs me out a little bit so that and I prefer to add music that's all like chillax and zen for you guys anyway um, because I am a huge believer in learning to take time to chill out to do nothing to just be um, I'm still working on that myself but I do understand the importance of it um, and there's a lot of you guys that uh, well, I shouldn't say a lot, I should say several for sure, <laughs> that um, I know stick my videos on, um, you know, when, when you go into bed or, or about to go to bed and just chill out and woosa, and that's awesome. That, that tickles me. It's good. It means I'm doing my job. <laughs> It dries to the touch pretty quick, but I don't like um, working on stuff before it's time if I can help it, because especially with magazine uh, images, they'll just shred. So um, yeah, I'm gonna gonna let this be, um, and I will see you guys in part two. Thank you for being here and helping me work on my journey, or hang out with me on my journey. Thanks to Care Bear for enabling me to continue on my journey. I appreciate it so much. Like, so excited right now. So excited. I love you guys. See you in part two. Love you. Bye-bye.